I've got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Why was this hard for me? So it wasn't too hard, right? It was. All right, next up. Uh, hey, look at that. Uh, one good. I've uh, got square board now. Thanks for the idea, friend. Okay, two puzzles that we can actually do. What we still need to do. It's another puzzle. So it's Builder Beans, just how much trouble that it has got it you into. Is it that obvious? Oh yeah, you got the slight shell sh shock to look at about you. But enough about that, now that, now that you're here, there's something I'd like to help with. Oh god. Why? Puzzle 041, carrying glasses. Uh, is back. The way, uh, the way they side warily and said, I always use the same box to carry many glasses uh, at a time. But there's one type of glass that I hate carrying. I have the four glass types pictured here. I don't keep mind tell why it's the same. Uh. Either D or um, A. Because B, you can just all fit into each other. Like if you have two bolts, uh, two, two on top of them, other each other. Same actually would count for C. It would go a little bit in. A doesn't go in at all, and D also doesn't go in. Though I think you can easily put more up on top of each other when it gets to D. Uh, A, I mean, like D, you can't. That should do the trick. Nope. Well, if at first you don't succeed. Too bad. I think I'm carrying glasses. How do you carry them? See them? Let's see if I, I wouldn't carry C right. with me, so. Okay, sure. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. I'm carrying glasses. I think we're actually carrying glasses. Okay, give me a box of glasses. Hmm. Be that, I guess. That should do the trick. Why though? Why B? Just as I suspected. Well, that'd be a question. It's only kind of glass. It's like all. Um, I'm only stuck as They're going to be heavy, very heavy and a pain to carry. What? I can't say I really understand that one, so... What's the word that had any of yours anyway? You must be awfully attached to it to keep it on knowing the kind of trouble it can cause. You're quite right about that. Uh, I dare say this hat is one of my most prized possessions. Well, I can see you know, there's no pressure you to take it off, but be careful out there. These days, it seems like there's trouble around every corner in London. Yeet. Uh, what's that? You want to solve another puzzle? Hey, well, I'll think of one. What about right now? I noticed someone here as well. Puzzle. Hmm? I see you staring at me. What do you need, boy? I don't think so. I just saw you there and thought to say hello. Ha ha ha. You got some guts approaching me. It makes me laugh. Ha ha ha. Oh god. It's been quite a while since I had myself a chuckle like that. Let me thank you for a puzzle. Mm, 
The four children below were playing in the park when they suddenly realized they needed to go home. In their haste, however, they mixed up their coats. A. I forgot my coat. B. Hey, A's name is written on his coat. Uh, C. Wait a minute. I didn't even wear my coat today, but I'm wearing one now. D. Definitely. Oh, God. Uh, C, yes. There's just like one glass, like the text there. I forgot my coat. A says he forgot his coat, so sure. B, hey. Okay, so B. What's that one? A has nothing on right now. No coat. Um, D says this definitely isn't is my coat. Well, if it isn't B's. Uh, C says, wait a minute, I didn't even wear a coat today. But I'm wearing one now. Do you have a coat that you should be... I should not be having? That means these coats can only go to B, and the coat that C is wearing can only go to D. And we need to know who's wearing these coats. Here's my answer. That's a relief. Correct. A, B, and D all brought coats to the park. B uh, is wearing A's coats, so that this just leaves the coats that B and D originally brought. D is wearing his own coat, so he must be wearing B's. This means C must be wearing D's coat. Sure. Let this be a lesson to you. If you're careless with your things, you can lose them. Here, take this. I found it over there. You, you must have left it behind the last time you were here. That's um Manager, um yeah. It was such modern. Like now it actually makes sense a little bit. It actually explain things. Anyways, okay, so that's everyone placed so far. Also he placed Don Paolo, so eek. The breeze blowing through town surely is nice. Uh, I couldn't agree more. It's a perfect day to find a nice grassy spot near the Thames or to go for a walk. It's been a while, but husband and I came up with this great puzzle uh, when we're out for a stroll. Oh no. Puzzle 019, checkerboard bridge. Where's below? So we painted in the black and white checkerboard pattern. Starting at the bottom left, you need to cross the bridge. And finish at the upper right corner. You can move one square at a time. Either up, down, left, or right. Let's check out how many different... Uh, four blocks. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Oh, God. Oh, 
thing is, you can actually go here, but also go here. And it can also go this way, and this way, and uh, this way, like... Mm. There's like about 30 options. That should do the trick. I was sure my logic was sound. Like, come on, this is just horrible to me. Like, the game is being horrible to me. Like, how the fuck are you going to do that? Honestly. Wait, 15? Why? Okay, now the answer is 15 apparently. Oh! But you also can do three times five. Now I get it. I've got a good feeling about this one. Just as I suspected. Puzzle one, uh, zero one nine. Check out bridge and how you puzzle it next. So you got some nice, uh, some swords. Nice work there. Ah, I used to love Rocco Hubby back then. He'd come home for dinner every night. Used to. So this guy for he walks ended when he moved here for his new job. He was working like a dog because he's hardly ever comes home. We're to the puzzles now. Let's do this. I did your 30 puzzles, sir. Let me see. See if you've solved at least 30 puzzles. Uh, yep. You've done enough risk to take your investigation back to your own time. Hopefully, you learned something that will help to fix help fix this, um, help us fix this terrible situation in our time. Yes, absolutely. Now, Cook, if you would, uh, be so kind as to fire up the clock. I hope you understand if I stay here. I don't want to destroying the events of the past any more than necessary. I agree completely. Besides, the poor inspector's eyes might very well pop out of his head if I showed him with two looks. But just think about how funny it would be to see his reaction. Pity you can't come, Big Luke. Okay, she's all ready to go. Let's get the show on the road. Here we are. Ugh, I feel sick. Are you going to be alright, Luke? You're positively green. I feel sort of seasick. My ears are all stuffy. And the ground feels like it's made of marshmallow. Yep, that'd be the time sickness uh, talking. The first job I made, I felt the same way. Well, Oak, we're about... We're going to head off now and see what we can find out. Uh, sounds good. If you're waiting for you, uh, just use a special knock and I'll let you in. Excellent. I was wondering how we'd contact you, uh, if, you went, if we went back out uh, to your own time while we were here. Yep, yeah, there'll be a pain, alright. Uh, now you two skedaddle. I'd like to go home and down for dinner. Do that about it, Professor. We're back in our time. Aww. The settings here certainly do seem familiar. Phew, you know, all this time drive will really wore me out. Yes, I can do it rest myself, but we, I mustn't keep Cork waiting. You're right, so, shall we go find Expected Jami? That will be our second stop. First lecture and by my office at university. So you're taking a break? Not quite, I need to do a little prep work for a session with Expected Jami. Progression, my boy, is the foundation upon which every good investigation is built. Right job, Professor. 
Now we're back in our own time. We can race the university by bus in matters of minutes. Now let's go, Luke. Head to the university. Well, hello again, Bright Eyes. I trust you found yourself some nice shiny hint coins. Yeah, so your expert direction played no small role. No small role, sorry. That was rather vague for me to say. Oh, we got a good bit of help. But where, uh, where's my thank you? Out of it already. Of course, please excuse me for not uh, issuing proper thanks. We appreciate your assistance. Yes, thank you. We would never have found him without your help of a wise old lady like yourself. Night is momentary, half pint. Who are you calling old? Do not call me flawless Florence for nothing, you know. I'm as thin and nimble as a teenager. I apologize, Mr. Florence. I didn't mean to call you old. I know your sense of seniors can get about their age. So senior? Old? You doesn't know. <laughs> you doesn't get it, do you? Luke, I'm going to have to teach you a lesson the old-fashioned way, with a puzzle. Oh no, the old-fashioned way. Puzzle number 046, a heartfelt heart. Ah. In my younger days, I was considered uh, quite the cat. This is a picture of me back then. I look with a true man some uh, sweeters. A few moments after this order was taken, one of, the, one of these uh, gents confessed his love and presented me with a heart. Can you guess which one? Uh, sure. A heart. Yes. Now you can make a heart shape out of this. This one's as good as soul. Nope. Okay. Why not? Let me think this through again. I'd say yes, honestly. How can you make a heart with that? Explain to me, Phew, that's game. A Lovely answer. It was him, all right. He made a heart out of uh, the magazine he was holding. Quite a creative gesture, eh? There's no inspiration like true love. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is that the answer? The, the, mm. Sure. A heartfelt heart. <laughs> You two are some smart cookies when it gets to puzzle solving. I'll give you that. The government means all the war uh, coming from such a, from a lady such as yourself, Florence. I do hope we run into each other again sometime. Tee now you're making me blush. You can sweet talk me if you like, but you just know I'm a married woman. It seems a friend has taken a shine to you, Professor. Uh, woman. Sure. Pick a bit two. Let's make, uh, let's make our way back to my office. Now, which bus goes to Gresson Hill University? I want to go to the Scotland Yard. I want to go to the cross key. For the yard! For some reason, like, that's in my brain. Like, it's, it's in my brain that way. I have to admit that I've gotten a bit turned around by, with all this time traveling. What are we investigating now? Oh, <laughs> feeling a bit discombobulated, my boy. I can hardly blame you. 
As a very every day uh, that I travel to the future, meet my other self. I can do a bit of a review on a case as it currently stands. Very well, let's see if I can bring you up to speed. Alright, do you remember why big blue colors to the future? So do you have Professor Layton, right? And what exactly are we stopping my future self from doing? Um, Alright, we want to stop him, you, uh, him from completing his time machine research. Exactly, which is exactly why we, why you and I were headed to Chinatown. Oh yes, now it's all coming back to me. But I failed to get into Chinatown. It was at that point you started uh, talking about uh, talk about asking the inspector for some questions. Yes, but at the same time I had no idea we were to jump back to our own time to question him. In that sense, in that sense, seems we were pretty lucky, eh? Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps sound like uh, something isn't sitting right with you. Is something bothering you? I need, and it's that something, and it's that something we've come to investigate. Ah, I will just about reach our stop. I'll go to my office and then it's off to see the inspector. Yeah, why can't we have just visited him at like, the future? Chapter 5 The Forgotten Case. I need to stop by my office and check so go check something. Uh, after that, we'll go find Inspector Chelmy. There you are, Professor. I see you cancelled the lecture again this week. Let me guess, are you investigating another strange mystery? Uh, hello, Rosetta. Yes, something rather really pressing has come up. But I'm sure to hold a makeup session later. Oh, no worries, Mr. L. As long as it, as I get my credits, I'm, I'm not sweating it. Now, kind of attitude is that, Tav Rosetta? If you want those credits, you have to earn them. And as your library is on the stone relics from Coral, I'd say you have your work cut for you. As your advice, I insist that you check out me weekly until your paper's shaped up. Hey, I didn't mean to imply I wasn't interested in the work, but I'm very much looking forward to our sessions together. Not only that, I suppose I to resuming private instructions from the great Professor Layton. Um, um, what I mean to say is that you should check in during office hours. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice, Professor. I'll see you next week. Tihi. Uh, Tihi. That Tihi doesn't. Whatever. I don't know what that's good up to, but it can't be good, Professor. Nonsense, my boy. I'm sure it's all you had. You know, for me, did you say. Did, did you see Luxury? She She's a man eater, whatever that means. Oh dear. Oh no. It's Dean Delmona! Hey, Shaw Boy, I've been looking for you. Oh, for f no, no. Hello, sir. Didn't you receive my notes that I was on holiday? Oh, yeah, oh, that? Yes, everything is in order there. It's something else that I need to help with. In that, in that case, please tell me how I can be of assistance to you, sir. Leave me there, my boy. I'm going to ask you, well, I wouldn't want like anyone else to hear it. The thing is, I have a puzzle I simply can't work through on my own. My darling granddaughter brought it to me, and I can't for the life of me solve the blasted thing. I can see that it could be quite vexing. Vexing is putting it politely. It's hard to feel uh, like the king of your castle when you can't even solve your grand child's puzzle. It's a rather serious issue for me, Herschel. It certainly sounds that way, sir. Yes, so I take it I can count your help, uh, you to help me work through this thing. But of course. Person number 048. One out of a thousand. Uh, here's some matchsticks that spell 100 meters. Move one of the matches uh, into the garbage to display. A length that is useful. Okay. One of one thousands of one hundred meter. I think ten centimeters. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yay! I get it. Just as I suspected. 
Terrific, 100 uh, M, 100 meters, becomes 10 centimeters. <sighs> that one was easy. I like the easy puzzles. Oh, that's it. My granddaughter is going to flip when she hears how clever a grind that is. I'm glad I could help you with your predicament, sir. Likewise. By the way, Herschel, I do have one uh, more small favor to ask of you. Certainly. Let's get the fact that you'll help me with this puzzle between you and me uh, and the wall, shall we? Of course, after all, you've uh, reputation to maintain with your granddaughter. It'll be our secret. Hoo hoo. Perceptive as always. And what about you there, young man? Can you keep a secret? Of course, my lips are sealed, sir. Splendid. For that, you have my thanks. Other thing, Rachel. There's a young lady in your office. She said she's waiting for you. I see. Oh, you're stuck with Flora. Oh, uh, um, hi there, Flora. You two have got some nerve leaving me alone while you go off on another adventure. Now, Flora, you know that wasn't our intention at all. While we were out investigating one issue, an even more troublesome matter arose. What kind of troublesome matter? We couldn't have seen it coming, Flora. Honest. Really? Of course, we wouldn't have left you behind on purpose. Luke is quite right. Do forgive us for our oversight. Well, okay, just this once, but you two had better not leave me alone again. Of course not. Talk with Flora, sure. Was on his own, so I guess there's no point in stewing over it. You two must be awfully tired from when I was running around. Uh, I just made a pot of tea. I'll go fetch it. I believe you must make a promise to Flora. I believe I may have, and unfortunately, this is one promise I fear I may have to break. Professor, that's terrible. Not to mention very unlike uh, you to go back in your ward. Well, I didn't see you do anything to dissuade the poor girl from coming with us. Besides, you know our current fa- fra Our current case is fraught with danger. I don't want to get hurt. Anyway, we need to finish our work here so we can find the inspector. We best move quickly. As well as you right, Professor. Alright then, what are we looking for here? Somewhere in my office is a letter-bound notebook. We get a note sticking out of it. Do you think you can help me find it? I have pressed on the case. That means top tower. Is it a book you're talking about? Why, yes, it is. Let's see, you're finishing concerning the explosion at the Institute of Polydimensional Research. Will you put this notebook together, Professor? I did, piece by piece. Uh, sadly, most of its contents have been removed. Well, you're kidding, most of the pages have been torn out. I've been a while since I opened it last. Let me see. At least the newspaper clippings are intact. What exactly, uh, what exactly are all these articles from, Professor? I'll give you more on the bus. But for now, we need to get up of here before Flora returns. No. Flora, I thought you may be hungry. Send me a little cucumber, sand, and. Oh dear, where'd they go? No, that's just not nice. No. Flora, we'll see you go back there. No. That, that's. No, that's just bad, okay? Bad! Anyway, for the yard! Uh, to the yard! What did I move pick up your office, Professor? Actually, what explosion were you researching? It all happened several years ago, when you were very small. Two scientists working in the physics lab unwittingly caused an explosion during an experiment. Uh, experiment. The explosion devastated the surrounding area. There must have been all over the news. You think so, wouldn't you? However, there are many perished in the blast. Few records of the accident remain. What happened? That's something I'm still trying to figure out myself. But but answer me, answer me this, Luke. What's the first thing that comes to mind when we hear of an explosion? 
Please let me detect tank time machine, of course. That's my first thought as well. I have a strong suspicion that these two incidents are connected. Why is that? I do more than a hunch, uh, so I can't really say more right now. Hmm. Officer, this is our stop. Here we are at Scotland Yard. There's no time to waste, we need to find the inspector. Oh, God, I'll sit for Oh, okay. Uh, welcome to the Scotland Yard headquarters of the London Police. How may I be of concern? How may I be of service to you? Where to see Inspector Jeremy? Uh, would you please let me uh, let him know uh, we'd like we'd like to speak with him? Jeez, unfortunately, Inspector is very busy right now. That's why I have to check the station and dispose of all visitors. But so zero five zero, a dangerous place. No oh, gold. It was here, city has been suffering from an increase of accidents and crime. According to the survey, there is one place in the city where there is a higher average of injured people and deaths throughout the year. Where could it be? Please. Oh, God. Death and injured people. I've got a good feeling about this one. Just as I suspected. Like, come on. Right, uh, there might be a lot of dangerous places, but also is where interesting people gather throughout the year. That's correct. Uh, as usual, trend is work as usual. Uh, Professor Layton. Oh, uh, do you know, do you two know each other? Of course, that is, I know the professor. How could, uh, any self-respecting puzzle not know the name of Layton? I'm a huge fan. I shouldn't have just saw one of your own design. You got me there, heh <laughs> I just couldn't pass up the chance to have the Professor Layton solve my puzzle. I go ahead and let the inspector know you're coming. He's obviously just up the stairs on the second floor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nothing like a nice cup of tea to soothe jangled nerves. Good day, Barton. Uh, good day to you, sir. Barton, we still have a few words to the inspector, but I didn't see him here. I didn't see him here either. Oh, let's let him believe he was in here, in his office. Yes, he was. Then he got up and left. It was all very sudden. I am too... I too am puzzled by a sudden disappearance. But I silly hope you're not spending reservation about me. I just thought you needed to pop downstairs to see the commissioner. Ah, oh, yes, you did say that, sir. Use your ears, constable. You never move in the forest if you don't... If you don't learn to listen. Good inspector. Ah, I bullet you're not saying hello, Light, and what a surprise to see you. Welcome to my humble office. Forget the sudden intrusion, Inspector. I think you're leading the investigation on the Prime Minister's disappearance. I am, and it's, and it's you I'm speaking with. Uh, I'll be quite candid. This case has been completely baffled. Those are eyewitnesses, myself included, and not one blasted lead to work with. Hmm. Since you were there, I might as well have your thing of things. Have a seat. I guess you the other day about the incident, but maybe our chat won't cover some new theories. We already established that you were there when the explosion occurred. Yes, yeah, certainly was. The was belief, uh, asked why, that there was no way anyone could have survived the blast. Not the Quark's tongue, not, not the staff, and though I hate to say it, not the Prime Minister. What confused me is that not a single trace of the lot remains. What do you mean by that? What I mean is we've gone past the whole place and not found a thing related to the victims. No bodies, no clothing, and no shoes, not even as much as a pocket watch or ring. All we got from the scene was 10 tons of scrap metal that used to be in the machine. No people though. There are 8 of them, sir. What, did you say something just now, Constable? There are 8 of them, sir. 8 people vanished. Ah yes, according to the eyewitness report, eight people vanished from the scene. The group uh, consisted of Stalin, a handful of assistants, and the Prime Minister. Now, how in the world do eight people uh, just vanish? It's like a blast of magic trick. Don't worry, Inspector, for what I've heard, the Prime Minister is still alive. Hmm? Ah, young Luke. Be a good lad and keep quiet, right? They're not serving a serious conversation here. Are you bored? When are you going and Barton? <laughs> Go play in the hall. 
Inspector, are you sure that Luke isn't making this up? There's a very real possibility Bill, Ho Bill Hawks may still be alive. What? I'm living here scratching my head like a fool. Explain, Leighton. Before I do, uh, I must ask a, I must ask a favor of you first. I wrote to be. Do you recall the explosion that occurred at the polydimensional research institute ten years ago? What did you just say? I'll take that as a yes. It is imperative that I see any and all case files in that incident. You might be onto something here, Leighton. What do you know? Nothing at the moment, but I have your suspicion the current case and this old one are linked in some way. No, no, I'd like to help, really I would, but these files are sealed and require top level clearance. Even I rank an officer like myself would have trouble getting his hands on those. I see. I really have to manage your status. Why did the information influence why did the influence necessary to become uh, acquire this document? In other words, it seems I may have hoped too much. I'm sure to have asked you uh, to, uh, uh, What the hell is happening? I'm sorry to have asked the impossible of you. Uh wait a moment, Leighton. I might be able to get Jack I might be able to get your uh, you access to the case files. Actually, that would actually be grateful for that. The one thing though, these documents don't come free. I want to hear everything you know uh, or suspect about the Prime Minister's whereabouts. Of course, once I've seen the documents and I'm sure my fear is sound, every detail will be yours. Barton, head down to the archive room and find his old files. Uh, tell him you're tell him you're there on my orders. Right away, sir. You're not going to leave the archive, but you can read them there. Then I say, as possible, I'll be into the basement. Much you please, Inspector. Uh, hello. Welcome to the archive. I gathered all the files pertaining to the explosion. Think about it, and your hard work has saved us considerable time. Ew, this is all, um, really covered in dust. If that's all limits to most people, you're the first to touch them in a long time. I see. Let's all this over and I'll help you look through them. Where should I start? I'll push it over, but I should sound it myself. They're all top secret after all. Of course, I understand. Wait a bit longer, look. I'll finish here. Okay. No. You know, it seems like the inspector is always yelling at you. Don't you ever get tired of it? It's not so bad. Uh, sure, he scolds me, but uh, only for a good reason, too, which is often, unfortunately. Oh. I make a lot of mistakes when I get yelled, so I get yelled at a lot. He's always telling me I lack inside in cases, uh, and don't um, pay attention. Which is completely understandable. I just get distracted, and I make mistakes. Oh, I should have bought, I never make mistakes. Heck. I make them all the time. I give up pretty bad sometimes. Uh, why, just the other day, I found myself in the most ridiculous predicament. Okay. Sure. Hmm. How about this? No? Sure. I guess it's back to the drawing board. as good as solved. Fuck. No puzzle can stop Leighton's apprentice. Not doing. You have to circle all the way around the park a lot to get to this place. Kind of annoying that you just can't pull straight in, huh? Well, 
Well, Vrog, look, I bet you never get to pressure any cars uh, to yell at you. Well, it's really the, uh, the yelling type. But it's true that I never let the puzzle go unsolved. Hey, Master V. I'm okay. Uh, never let the puzzle unsolved. I got his reputation to protect. Let me give you a Z shout out. Oh dear, I never considered the possibility that my goof ups would harm the inspector's reputation. Don't worry about it, Barton. What's most important is that you try your best. Uh, if only I could convince the inspector to see things that way. Look, come here, I think I found what we came here for. Uh, what is it, Professor? That file yielded some very valuable information, Luke. What exactly did you, go did you find out, Professor? Let's just say I'm very confident that the Prime Minister is still alive. However, the only way to save him is to travel to the other land where he's being held. You think he might be trapped in the future? Perhaps, let's bring this discussion to the Inspector. Well, I didn't think your investigation bar any fruit. It didn't need. To start, I'll with you. Uh. No, he's late as apprentice. To start, allow, uh, allow me a few questions. Inspector, were you involved in the investigation into the explosion at the Institute ten years ago? Yes, I was there. Ages ago, it was. I remember I had just been brought to assist the inspector. I see. And do you remember the names of the scientists uh, though to have caused the explosion? Let me think. Ah. Uh, it's going back to me now. Uh, one man's name is Alan. Dimitri Allen. Weren't uh, there two scientists in play at it? Do you remember the second scientist's name? It was quite a long time ago, you know. I see, you're having some difficulty remember. remembering. Remembering, hmm. Well then, what about the victims? Do you remember much about them? The explosion caused substantial damage to the area and destroyed the neighboring apartment complex. My lab is a perished in the explosion. As a several tenants in the building next door. So enough though, I think both the scientists involved in the uh, experiment survived. That's very informative, Inspector. Good, because I've got a few questions of my own now. How do you think this old case relates to my, to my current one? This is not theory, but I think the Prime Minister is being held somewhere beyond the influence of Colin Yard. The military is being held captive in the country. Uh, you may... Uh, you may find what I'm about to tell you hard to believe. But I think Bellhawks is being held captive in the future. The future! Alright. Uh, if this is your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. I'm gonna send you skepticism. Uh, thank you for your help today, Inspector. So, is there anything else about the Prime Minister's whereabouts? Uh, you'll be the first to know. You'll be among the first to know. Come, Luke, let's be off. Now, right there, we have we had a deal. Surely you got more uh, for me than just far fetched theory. In fact, I've told you as much as I know at the moment. Um, now, please choose us. Okay, so I know uh, we have 15, uh, 13 chapters in our epilogue. Let's return to the clock shop. Now that we got what we came for, let's get back to the clock shop. Clock's waiting for us. Okay, Professor. We're leaving Flora behind. Again. I thought you have to head back to the future London now, huh? As well, Luke. Are you scared of traveling through time again? Yes, I mean, no, as long as I don't have to do it alone. Of course not, I'll be right there with you. First thing I is heading to Chinatown to meet the future Professor Layton, right? That's right, and if my guess is correct, we'll find the Prime Minister there as well. There as well, Jesus Christ. Do you think we'll run into any trouble along the way? Considering the warm welcome we received from the family at the casino, I'd say anything's possible. Look, there's no telling what kind of dangers awaits us in the future. Maybe it'd be best for you to remain here in our time. What kind of apprentice would I be if I left uh, you to face danger all alone? Of course I'm going to. Chapter 6. <laughs> I think at least. Yep. Chapter 6. Traveling companions. Or traveling companions? I don't know. I'd say that. In any case.
Heh heh heh. Alright, what machine do you to get yourselves into? Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. No problem playing this boy. Old Stashin Scarvin knows more than you think. Heh heh heh. Uh, they might be a slightly obscure, but I do advise, you know. Uh, and these eyes consider that you're lols, the lols right your tail. I don't follow. Say anymore, boy. Just know that I'm always on your side. If you call me, I'm come running. Oh, and thanks, I guess? But we'll be off now. Look, I don't have the feeling that things are about to get interesting. Um, sure. Look, you remember the secret, uh, knockback look you snowy last rat entered the clock shop? Of course, allow me, professor. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Not that that happens, indeed. Welcome back, Professor. Try to keep you waiting. Where is Cock, by the way? Oh, same place as always. In the back. Finger it with that clock. Tee hee ho. Right, Cock. I'm gonna go back to the future. Welcome back, you two. I take it uh, you found the information you were after? We did. Hopefully, Luke's not tired of waiting for us back in the future. Yeah, so we must keep Young Sir waiting. Young Sir? Hmm? Oh, heh heh, did I just call Luke Sir? So, that's sort of habit from being uh, in the service industry. My mind's just uh, not being sh as sharp as it uh, used to be, you know? I make mistakes like that often. I. Hmm? Someone's at the door. You can just force your way in onto private property, that's illegal, not to mention ungentlemanly. But now, I'm no gentleman, I'm an officer of the law, and I'm here uh, on an important investigation. What the fuck is Tommy doing here? You told us, didn't you, Inspector? Be this way, spring is right, forcing your way in here is quite rude. Tell you all, and the fact remains that our Prime Minister is missing. And if I have to crash a few parts to fight him, then that's how it has to be. And I keep crashing him until you lay your cards on the table, Leighton, all of them. I can't believe you, Professor. And you too, Luke. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, well, Flora. You do have locked me on my own again. And after I made you those nice cucumber sandwiches. Flora, please try to understand. We didn't want to put you in a dangerous situation. I don't buy it. The real reason you don't take me is because you think I'll get in the way. No, that's not that at all. Flora, you have to understand. You can get put in harm's way. It's for your safety that I. I don't know anyone else. Ugh. I don't know anyone else in this town. What am I supposed to do when you two run off? Uh, start the wall. Oh, no, that's really fun. Am I really fun? I mean, not fun at all. When you put it that way, I can see where you're coming from. Now, Luke, listen here. You know, Leighton, I think the girl has a point. You may be leaving her behind out of concern, but it doesn't mean. Um, uh, but it doesn't mean much if it upsets her, so... Inspector, you too? Uh, sorry about in, but we've got uh, to get the show on the road. We can't uh, keep Luke waiting any longer. I'll have to start her up now. But I say I've prepared, that's not true with the matter at hand. As far as I'm concerned, the more people we've got, the merrier. That's ridiculous, I beg you to reconsider. Sorry, but we've got to go. Hold on, everyone. Hold on, what for? Time travel! Okay, end the line, everyone out! <laughs> what the just happened? Ugh, why someone's doing backflips again? What's all that? Someone's out to see if you're out, Inspector. That's a service and a sufficient explanation. I don't know what you're getting at, at but fine. Barton, let's step outside. Do you know, I'm feeling a touch queasy. Actually, make that quite queasy. Put these out together, Constable. We're going out. Put it in just to me. I'm feeling a bit green. Are you okay, Flora? It was rather a shaky trip. I'll say, time travel really takes it out of you. I'm a bit dizzy. Oh no, someone catch her. Leighton, what's all of this? What happened to London? We're still in London, Inspector. We just transported 10 years into the future. But it's impossible. Isn't it? Or is it possible, Leighton? One thing is for certain. We're no longer the London we knew. Hmm. It'll be time for a debate once work is done. 
I should recall you saying that so not the Prime Minister being trapped in the future, yes? Yes. Uh, I'm by no means certain, but there always a definite possibility. Well then, what are we standing around here for? The hunter's own button? What's find the Prime Minister? You know, Inspector, we may have better look fighting him down if we work together in this case. That's enough from you, Leighton. The fact remains to cure a civilian. I'll handle this on my own. Sure. What's the look, Professor? Nice you went to. Never does a uh, mini prize. Perhaps it's time to uh, pay Shipley a visit. Of course, he can get us in touch with Big Luke. So head over to the arcade restaurant. Okay, <laughs> well, Luke is back. Mr. Station Scarven? The one and only. Who's your fair friend there? Oh, you mean Hunter? Nice to meet you. Nice. Uh, meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you too, Bert. So, see you guys how you depend on a bunch. I got a favorite task. Lately, I can't get enough of my troops, especially this one little red, delicate, delectable variety. And that's where you come in. I'd like you to uh, seek one out for me, find a fun. I'll just find fungi and bring it around, baby. A little delectable red mushroom. I can't. I haven't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are lines this hard for me? A little delectable red mushroom. I haven't a clue where we can pick one of those. Oh, Hunter knows, Hunter knows, Hunt, Hunter will go grab it. Now that's the kind of, uh, kind of attitude I like, Bird. Uh, but are you really up to the task? Hunter's the regular Bird, there should be a snap for him. Hunter gonna take on Request for Pippi and me during your adventure. I'm going to complete the task uh, request in the pirate minigame available in the trunk. The more requests you see hidden, the, mo the more clever Hunter becomes. If you can make enough requests, he'll start to help you find hidden coin coins. Nice! So you have Hunter for every delivery request you come across. Uh, you come across? Fuck my life. Let's get you on the road. Open the, open the pirate minigame in the trunk and select my, my request. Go on, I want the campaign to get one measly mushroom. Now hurry up and get those I can't get enough of those little red mushrooms. You just bring one to me. Sure. You had uh, generously volunteered his services as a delivery bird. Unfortunately, the heavy items he had to carry make it hard for him to fly properly. Break this flight path and help him to the restaurant by making perches out of rope for him. Go to perch your pirate by connecting any two posts with a rope. The rear ropes uh, will change your effort each delivery request. The position angle of each perch will affect the trajectory of your pirate's flight. But officially, uh, move the process that will help the pirate get to the station as quickly as possible. Ropes come to the sack to each other. Also, you can't touch the ropes to the same point. Or same post. Uh, tap the clear to raise all the ropes. You draw on the screen. Tap start to send your pirate uh, out the delivery's package. Watch uh, how he flies closely. If you want to cancel the delivery attempt while the pirate's flying, tap quit. When the pirate lands on the flat perch, he will return to his basic flight path and he takes off next. By laying out a number of well placed uh, perches, your pirate can fly to very high places. Complete the course by guiding your pirate over to the delivery recipient. During delivery, if your pirate flies a screen or falls to a hole, you must reattempt delivery. Your pirate must reach the res recipient before the time runs out, so keep an eye on the clock. When your pirate completes every delivery in the game, something needs to happen. Uh, uh, uh. Yay, we did it. I knew you were just a fellow for the job. This is a, spe a perfect specimen. Specimen. You just go on like that and you become a fine delivery parrot. Uh, people will love you. Love me? Delivery, delivery. You want to person right to your expert delivery skills.
We were going to ship it before anything else. You be at the restaurant. <sighs> sure. Well, that's why it says the hair. I just wanted something. What's up, Professor? We neglected to explain the situation to Flora. You're right, it completely slipped my mind. No worries, I'm just happy to be uh, along for the right, and not, you know, uh, left behind as usual. Where is Bay? I think an explanation is in order. I was about to for a quick chat. Okay, Professor. Really? I'm sure we only wish just guess to approve to enter that area. Uh, my name's Sora. I'm a guest to the professors and late Luke's. Well, sort of. Actually, what really happened is I followed them here because they were enough to help me. They're always doing that. And to be honest, it really hurt my feelings. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, take up your time chattering so much. Flora, what are you all going on about? Don't mind her, Becky. Flora can be a bit awkward around new people. I would never pry on into a guest person at first. That's against all the policy. I'll be over now. Have yourself, have yourselves a pleasant day. I hope Becky doesn't look down on us running out on Flora. What a charming room. I'm glad you like it, Flora. We'll be sure to get you one of your very own later. But no need for that. I'm about to stay in this one with you two. We'll just put up a screen. Oh, look, you just want us. You can sleep in the chair there. I'll take one of the beds, and the professor can take the other bed. That's really case. I'm way too big to fold myself into a chair. We can discuss the issue more later. For now, let's try to bring you up to speed, Flora. Alright, so what's this, what's this gimme? Right now, we are in a town that looks very much like London, but it's fundamentally different. Make no mistake, the city is a far more dangerous place than our London. How so? As I had said, we travel through time. This London is ten, ten years in the future. What? We're currently working with a young man who identifies himself as Luke. According to him, uh, in ten years' time, uh, ten years between his time and ours, I became a rather unsavory individual. And here in the future, I rule over the city with an iron fist. This young man has worked with us to try and help, uh, try and stop my evil future self. Right, that's an awfully complicated story. Uh, did you follow all, all of it? Yes, I think so. Can you imagine a professor as a crime boss? There is something I just got to see. Oh, I just thought of something. What's up? If both you and the professor have counterparts here, I should too, right? Sure, I don't see why not. But you haven't seen the future floor out here. Nope, not yet anyway. But did it strike you as strange that you haven't seen me? Um, well, we're a lot going on since you came here, and we really haven't not much time. I guess... Oh god. I guess I just thought the two of you would have been more concerned about my well-being in the future. There, 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 don't get upset now. What do you say we brighten up those words with a trip to one of the best restaurants in the city? Oh, that sounds wonderful, let's go. Phew, nice save, Professor. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. Alright, let's return to the restaurant. Wait, what? Dean Damona? Oh, fancy you here, Herschel. Are you well? Yes, thank you. You're looking quite well yourself. Spry, even. Oh, have an old man screwing a little by the day. Uh, one look at my head of white hair will tell you that. Oh, yes, I thought something was different about you. So people uh, say silver hair makes a man look distinguished, but that's partially to my brown hair. You know, Rachel, London's full of people quick to sully your name, but I don't believe one of them. That was quite a shock, Professor. You saw Dina Mona only hours ago, yet he aged a full 10 years. Yes, I'm so liberated to have left his mark on the Dean. Is something the matter? No, I just need to want to think. Let's be on our way. Thank you. I'm not sure for how long I'm going to be continuing today, but sure. Greetings, Shipley. Excellent, time, Professor. I just read the message from for you from Luke. He would like to go to the observatory in the park north of here. Uh, see if you're not followed. The park is the one on the road. The Jones Falls Street of Maryland uh, Road, correct? And that's the one. Luke will be there waiting for you. Why do we need to make sure we're not being followed? 
It sounds like someone out there, maybe monitoring our movements. Flora, are you paying attention to what's being said? This is very important. Of course I'm listening. Moving uh, around, the group of true, make us conspicuous. Uh, I know you don't want to be left, but I think it would be best if you wait for us to do a tell. As soon as we're done talking with the other Luke, we'll, we'll come get you. I'm coming with you. Now, Flora. Now, come on, Professor, let it come along. We'll do our best to be stealthy in the way to the park. I don't know about this. It'll be fine. Besides, it might be dangerous to leave Flora all by herself. I suppose you might have a point. But we're heading to lead us into some very sit dangerous situations. Are you sure you want to come along with us? Of course I do. I'm not scared. Well, that does it. Let's get moving. Sorry, Luke. But we've got no choice but to put our dinner plans on hold again. I just have a No one wants to eat more than I do, but we shouldn't keep Luke waiting. Well then, what are we waiting for? Off we go. Yay.